everyone has a set of colors that look like they were made for them. But everyone also has a set of colors to make them look sick and like they don't even want to be bothered. For comparison, this is how you look when you wear a color that's probably not your best. And then this is how you can look when you're wearing your color. So in my last color video, we talked about the 12 color seasons. Now this might be confusing, but it's actually quite simple. We all fit into one of these seasons. Some of us may be more than one. However, the three main criteria that puts you in one season over the other include, number one, your undertone. This is how warm or cool or neutral your undertone is. If you're warm, you are gonna look better in gold jewelry than you do silver. If you're cool, you're gonna look better in silver than you do gold. And if you're neutral, you're gonna look good in both. Number two, contrast. So this is the difference in depth between your hair color, your eye color, and your skin color. Those whose hair color and skin tone are close in depth are said to have low contrast. You can have light skin and light colored hair and have low contrast. However, you can also have medium to deep colored skin and still have low contrast if your hair color and your skin color are close in tone. However, you can have medium to deep skin and still have low contrast if your hair color and your skin color are close in depth. Now see, you've probably seen a lot of these color analysis guides and a lot of them exclude skin of color. I'm about to put us back up in this bitch. <laughs> now those whose hair color and skin color are vastly different in depth from each other are said to have high contrast. This can be someone with very pale skin and very dark hair. However, someone like me can also have a higher contrast because although I have deep skin and darker hair, there is quite a difference in the depth. Like, you know, you know, you see it. And if you're in the middle there, like your, your hair and skin and eyes have a little bit of contrast towards each other, not the highest of contrasts and definitely not low contrast, you have medium contrast. And number three, saturation is another characteristic that puts you in one season over the other. And this deals with how bright or muted your coloring is. Now, what makes this simple is that like attracts like. So whatever coloring you have naturally, that's what you wanna mimic when it comes to picking out your colors for your wardrobe and your color combos. Now, although I personally have studied this back in 2000, and then in 2006, I got a certificate in image consulting from the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York City. There are a lot of helpful resources, even that I found very helpful, on a site called The Concept Wardrobe. I even bought their $99 color wardrobing bundle, which I thought was very helpful because it gives me my color palette in an easy to look at resource, and it gave me some color combos as well. But if you ever looked at one of those color season guides, you know that they whiter than the mug. So I tried to to black and brownify it for us. And that raises the state, cause you know they stay trying to put all of us in a dark autumn or a dark winter. Now I actually do happen to be a dark winter and can sometimes wear some of the colors in the dark autumn, but not all of us fit in that color season and we gonna get into that. Now a quick disclaimer, and I realize that the closer I get to the camera, the more naked I look. My bad y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm not naked, but you know, I just gotta get up here and talk to y'all real quick. Now when it comes to these celebrity examples I'm about to give y'all, I ain't never seen none of these ever before in my life. This is just a simple guide to make it easier for you to point you in the right direction based on what the celebrity's coloring appears to be in the photo. Got it? All right, good. Let's start with the warm seasons, and by warm, I mean warm undertone. Let's start out with the bright spring season. Now, here are some celebrity examples who, according to these photos, would fit into the bright spring category. You fit into the bright spring category if your coloring is bright, and warm and you have a higher level of contrast. Now remember what I just said, like attracts like. So when you're choosing colors, you wanna make sure that they match with what you naturally have. So in this color palette, you're gonna definitely lean more towards the warm colors, but brighter warm colors, your best color combos are going to be of a higher contrast to mimic the high contrast that you have in your coloring. Now when you're putting your color combos together, you wanna aim for at least one bright color. So you can pair a bright with a deeper neutral, you can pair a bright with a lighter neutral, but you're probably gonna wanna stay away from outfits that are all neutral head to toe, cause that mess is gonna make you look black. And you are probably also gonna wanna stay away from monochromatic colors 
because you know that's also gonna make you look a little blah you want a little drama a little dynamic with your color combos so here are a few color combos to try if you are bright spring now the next color season we're still in spring is warm slash true spring and here are some celebrities who based on these photos would fit into the warm slash true spring category now you would fit into this season that the primary aspect of what you see first is the warmth in your coloring and then you see bright you gonna be a warm slash true spring now you might be like but uh what, what had happened was you had said that bright spring was bright and warm so what's the difference between warm and bright i'm gonna tell you so in the bright spring remember there was a higher level of contrast and warm slash true spring that contrast level is lower so you're more of a medium contrast when it comes to the difference in the color of your skin hair and eyes so here are some color combos to try if you are a warm slash true spring so with these color combos you want at least one color to be bright and you don't want there to be too much contrast like you want some contrast between those colors but not too much and you definitely don't want the contrast to be too low because that could kind of like that's gonna kill your your color vibe things that you should probably stay away from head to toe neutral looks that's just gonna make you look black ditto when it comes to monochromatic looks probably not the best for this season because it's just gonna you know it's just it's just gonna make you look a little dull and you want to look vibrant with your color coloring now side note now listen i know that this sounds very much like don't wear this da, 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 da. and i know how some of y'all get when you feel like somebody's telling you what not to wear and whatnot right don't look at it like that look at it as me giving you the tools to find what looks best on you what is going to make you shine what is going to make you step out what is going to make things look like oh wow that is her color or his color or their color that is their color and now let's step into the last but not least season of the spring light spring and here are some celebrities who based on their photos <laughs> would fit into the light spring category so the characteristics of light spring is that your coloring is light and warm the difference between your hair skin and eye color these all look like they're about the same color here are some color combos to try if you fit into the light spring category now although this season does have a lower contrast you still need a little bit of something something in there your color combos still need to have a bit of vibrancy to them otherwise you know they can make a light spring look black you don't want to be looking black now these color combos aren't going to be as contrasted as the bright spring and the true slash warm spring but there's going to be a little something in there a little, little little bit of contrast so when you look at a color wheel so a lot of your color combos are going to be colors that are kind of closer next to each other not too far away from each other on the color wheel but you definitely want to shy away from an all neutral look in this season and monochromatic because all neutral and monochromatic is gonna look very blah on a light spring all right so let's recap real quick the spring season in general is warm and bright although there are differences there is still some vibrancy to each subsection within spring so in the spring season you're looking at the warmer colors that are on the color wheel and the more contrast that you have in your coloring remember that's the difference between your hair skin and eyes the more contrast that you have the further away from each other the colors on the color wheel are going to be and then of course the less contrast that you have the closer the colors on the color wheel are going to be for the spring season now while spring is warm and bright the next warm season autumn is warm and muted now let's start out with a soft autumn and here are some celebs who according to these pictures would fit into the soft autumn season the primary aspect of the soft autumn season is muted and the secondary is warm so what this means is the contrast between your skin hair and eye color is medium to low so the colors are blending together as opposed to contrasting like you see how my darker hair contrasts with my brown skin and then you see in like you know my darker color eyes are contrasting with the whites of my eyes like that's a higher contrast when you have a muted coloring the colors seem to like blend in together and this is what you're going to want to mimic when it comes to the colors that you choose as well as your color combos here's some color combos to try for the soft autumn season now unlike the spring seasons if you are a soft autumn the monochromatic looks is going to be your best friend you going you going to start with big dogs in a monochromatic look if you're a soft autumn and 
And again, this is because you want color combos that are low in contrast, which also mimics the low contrast in your personal coloring. Now, of course, this means that higher contrast, so color combos that are further away from each other on a color wheel, them joints is gonna overpower you. And you don't want nothing overpowering you because you the one with the power. Now, when you're picking your color combos, you also wanna make sure that they're similar in value. So a medium blue with a medium green. And that's your soft autumn. Let's scoot on over to true slash warm autumn. And here are some celebs who, according to these photos, <laughs> would fit into the warm slash true autumn season. Primary aspect of your overall coloring is warmth. Like people, like when they look at you and when you look at yourself, all you're seeing is that warmth in your coloring. And then your secondary aspect is muted. This season has a medium contrast. So a slightly more contrast than the soft autumn season. Now in comparing the soft autumn to the warm slash true autumn, these colors are gonna be warmer, slightly brighter, and slightly darker than the soft autumn color palette. Here are some color combos to try if you are warm slash true autumn. Now with this color season, monochromatic color combos are gonna look good, but you can do a slightly more contrast than say a soft autumn season could. But you don't want too much contrast because that'll be too much for this season. So when you're looking at a color wheel, you're looking at colors that are closer together. You don't want to go too far apart. Like you're not going to go opposite extremes, but you know colors that might be, you know, one or two, maybe two or three colors next to each other. Now, moving on to the dark autumn season, which is where they like to throw all of the dark skinned people who have a warm undertone. Not all of us fit into this season, but here are some celebrity examples who according to these photos, would appear in the dark autumn season. Now, what makes a dark autumn different from the warm slash true autumn and the soft autumn is that a dark autumn's primary color aspect is dark and the secondary is warm. Another thing that makes this different from the other autumn seasons is that while soft autumn had a lower contrast, warm true autumn had a medium contrast, the dark autumn is going to have the highest contrast of this autumn season. So this means that there's gonna be a bigger difference in the depth between your skin, eyes, and hair color. And remember, I said this earlier, that contrast can also be found between the darkness of your eye color and the whiteness of your eyes if you're someone like me with a deeper complexion. And here are some color combos to try if you are a dark autumn. Pairing light colors with dark colors looks best on the dark autumn season. That monochromatic and all neutral from head to toe, mm -mm, that's gonna look black on a dark autumn. When it comes to the colors on the color wheel, you definitely want to pair colors that are further away from each other on the color wheel. Now, remember I mentioned that some of us may fall into more than one category? That's me. I am a dark winter. I prefer to wear dark winter colors. However, I can wear some of the dark autumn colors as well. See, I have a neutral undertone. I can look nice in gold jewelry as well as silver. So, you know, I could dibble dabble between some of the colors in dark autumn. Although dark winter is primarily you know where I look, you know, I'll be shining. <laughs> and speaking of dark winter, now we are moving on to the cooler seasons and we're gonna start out with mine, dark winter. And here are some examples of celebrities who based on these photos right here, cause you know, I ain't never seen none of these motherfuckers before in my life. These are celebrities that would fall into the dark winter category, you know, based on these pictures. And you know, and then of course it's me. <laughs> now the primary color aspect of this season is dark and the secondary is cool. In a dark winter, you have a higher contrast in color and this does not always mean pale skin and dark hair. As you can see, I got dark skin and I got dark hair. However, there is some contrast you see that in the, in the depth? Like there's some contrast there and there's some contrast created, as I've mentioned a couple times already, between the whites of my eyes and the darkness of my pupils. And if you are dark winter, here are some color combos to try. Now we can pair darker neutrals with a bright color. We can wear an all dark color combo, or we can wear a dark accent color with a light neutral. Monochromatic and all neutral color combos look bleh on dark winters. And you know, now that I think about it, I. It was oh, like any time you had to wear beige or all beige or something, I would just be like, Ugh, I feel like I'm like my skin tone is just being dulled here, and, and that's the confirmation right there. <laughs> now, next up, we have the cool slash true winter, and here are some celebs who, based on these photos, would fit into this color season. Now, I couldn't 
Think of very many celebrities of color that have this coloring. So, you know, I just got Michelle Williams as the only one, but I'm gonna throw in some other people as well as I find them. However, the primary aspect of this color season is cool and the secondary is bright. So on the color wheel, you are gravitating towards the cooler colors, but the brighter, cooler colors. In this season, you'll look good in an all dark color combo pairing or an all light color combo pairing. But you know what yo, what yo, Sasson is if you were this season. High contrast pairings, a classic black and white that, you know, people tell you that everybody looks good in the classic black and white, but you know, the science behind color might say otherwise, but you know what I'm saying? If you are a cool, true winter, that black and white is gonna just look so good on you. And black and white doesn't have to be the only high contrasting uh, color combo, as you can see, because I'm gonna put some color combos that you can try on the screen right up in here. But this color season also looks good with light neutrals with bright colors or dark neutrals with lighter accent colors. Now, next up in this winter season, we have the bright winter. And here are some celebs who, according to these pictures, would fall into the bright winter category. Now the primary color aspect of this season is bright and the secondary is cool. Now this season has a very high contrast between the skin and the hair and the eyes. And for those of us with deeper skin, that contrast can also be made with the contrast of the whites of the eyes and the darkness of the pupils. Here are some color combos to try if you fall into the bright winter season. You want to create dramatic contrast by pairing light colors with darker colors. So you can pair dark or light neutrals with a bright color. Make sure that bright is in there because without it, you won't dull your shine if you are bright winter. The monochromatic colors, eh, eh. <laughs> Not the best if you are someone who is a bright winter. It can make you look a little black, and we ain't trying to look black. Now, let's move on to the other cool season in terms of color, not, you know, the actual, you know, the, the heat going on outside. Summer. I ain't gonna lie to you, this would trip me up when they would say, like, the cool seasons were summer, and I'm like, but it's not cool in summer. You're talking about the colors that are made, not the, you know, temperature that's outside, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you look at the poster women of what a summer season would look like, You'd be hard pressed to think that, you know, there'd be any people of color that would fit into this category, but you'd be wrong because there are people of color that would fit into the summer category. Now let's start out with light summer. And here are some celebs who, according to these pictures, would fit into the light summer category. Now this season, the primary color aspect is light and the secondary is cool. And this color season has low contrast, which means that your colors are looking like they're all kind of almost blended together almost. So on the color wheel, you're looking for lighter colors. However, lighter colors with a cool undertone and your color pairings, which some color pairings for you to try are right here on the screen. Your color pairings are going to be colors that are much closer together. Now, we don't spend so much time talking about monochromatic is bleh on some of the other seasons, but monochromatic works very well in the summer season. <laughs> now, monochromatic colors work really well, especially for light summer because light summer has a low contrast. So you want colors that all, you want color combos that also mimic that low contrast. So you compare a neutral with a brighter color. You don't wanna do an all neutral look because that can wash this season out. So not everything needs to be monochromatic. You can kind of look at colors that are closer to each other on the color wheel. Just don't go too far and, you know, kill it with the all neutral looks. Now, next up is the true slash cool summer category. And here are some celebs who, based on their photos, would fall into the true slash cool summer category. Now, the primary aspect of this season is cool. Ain't no warmth whatsoever. Like, you ain't seeing no warmth, just cool. Tunes. And then the secondary aspect is muted. The colors that suit this season are gonna be very muted and they're gonna have a grayish tone. Grays look amazing on this color season, but you don't only have to wear grays, but the colors that you choose are going to have like a grayish tone to them. So you'll have a blue that has like a little grayish tone, a pink that has a bit of a grayish tone to it. You, you feel me? Now, here are some color combos to try if you are a cool slash true summer. Monochromatic color pairings are gonna look great on this color season as well. So something like a darker blue mixed with a lighter blue. Now, of course, both of these blues are gonna have that grayish muted tone to them. Now, colors that contrast too much are gonna be very overpowering 
on this color season. So with this color season, you wanna stick to colors that are closer to each other on the color wheel. And neutrals are gonna look great with a cool slash true summer, but you're gonna wanna pair them with brighter colors and brighter in terms of like a true summer brighter because you know, those colors are not gonna be bright but they'll be the brighter colors in the cool slash true summer category. Now, next up, soft summer. And here are some celebs who, according to these photos, would fall into the soft summer category. Now you fall into this category if the primary aspect of your coloring is muted and the secondary aspect is cool. And with this season, the contrast between your hair, skin, and eyes seems to all kind of blend into each other. However, if you're someone who is of color, you may have darker hair and still fit into this color season as you can see here, you know, the picture of a manless Steinberg. Now, here are some color combos to try for this season. Pastel and grayed out colors and a monochromatic color combo are going to look mwah on a soft summer. Highly contrasted colors though, like colors that are too far away from each other on the color wheel, they're gonna overpower you and I wouldn't even try it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you wanna look for what looks best on you. Now, the best way to figure out like, what the heck is my colors? Like, what am I cool? Am I warm? Am I dark? Am I light? Do I have am I high contrast, low contrast? The best way to figure that out is to have your colors professionally done. I would say having them done in person is probably better than doing them virtually because you know, virtually you gotta worry about the lighting and the camera and all that other stuff. Whereas in person, people can see like your true coloring. However, if you don't have access to that, one of the best ways is to drape yourself with color and see how the various colors make your skin, hair, and eyes look. And I'm gonna leave some resources on how you can do that, some things that you can buy in the description box. Make sure you check that out. Links to additional color season resources, including the ones I used to make this video, will also be linked in the description, so make sure you check that out. Now, if you are looking to visually lose 10 pounds in an instance by tweaking what you wear, you wanna make sure you check out this video. However, if you wanna play a game of, is it a designer or is it a dupe, you wanna make sure you check out this video. Either one you decide to watch, I'll see you there.